e no é e no é de amém everlasting God, I want to thank you. I want to bless your name. I want to magnify your name. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy to be honored. You are worthy to be glorified for all the previous spiritual breakfast, healing, deliverance, salvation, restoration, the miracle signs and wonders you perform in our lives. Father, the, oh, the powers that are the battles you fought for us will return all the glory, all the honor, all the glory. praise, and thanks in Jesus' name. Now, Father, we ask that that which we have done in the past, Father, let it last forever in the name of Jesus. And we commit to this spiritual breakfast into your hands. Oh, Father, we ask that I ask that you will deliver everyone, everyone, everyone that you will set them free from the power of the altar of the Father's house, all the power of the altar of the Father's taking them backwards, taking them backwards in their life, trying to chain them and put them in captivity. Father, let them be set free. Set all your children free all over the world. Set us free and set all your children all over the whole world. Set them free from the power of the altar of the Father's house and deliver them completely. And let the power of the, power of the altar of the Father's house be totally destroyed and destroyed forever in the name of Jesus. And that which we are going to do today, let it last forever. Let the deliverance last forever in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Once again, I welcome you to today's spiritual breakfast. Today is a deliverance program. Today is a deliverance program to deliver you from the power of the altar of your Father's house. And God will deliver you totally, completely today in the name of Jesus. Our topic is still deliverance by fire part two. And our text is still taken from Isaiah 49, verse 24 to 25. It says, shall the prey be taken away the, shall the prayer be taken from the mighty or the love of captives delivered? But thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prayer of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contend with thee, and I will save thy children. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Deliverance belongs to the children of God. Deliverance is of the Lord. And the and the battle is the law. The battle is the law. It is God that delivers. The deliverance, deliverance, it belongs to God and to his children. And the battle is the Lord. And the Lord shall fight for you. I declare and I command in the name of God that the Lord will fight for you in the name of Jesus. And you shall hold your peace. This morning the Lord will deliver you from the power of the altar of your father's houses. In the mighty name of God, set you free from the whole of that power. In the mighty name of Jesus. For you to be set free, you need to be ready to make peace with God. Are you ready to make peace with God today? Are you ready to make peace with God and hand over the battle of the enemy against you to the Lord? If you are ready, God will deliver you totally in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I ask that this morning, I ask in the neighbors above your house, in the name of Jesus, I ask by the mandate of heaven for my life, the power of blessing, that all the power, all the priests, all the evil priests, all the evil priests ministering at the, all the evil priests ministering at the altar of the father of the of the of the of the, of the father house of the children. Father, as I they be arrested, let all of them be arrested right now. And those she come out of the look. As they will arrest all the power of the altar of our father's house and all the altar of the power of the, father, of the houses of your all children worldwide. Let that power be arrested right now. Father, in your mightiness, 
in your power and your mightiness. Let the powers be arrested. Let the powers be arrested. Let the powers be arrested. Rebo Shaka Marabatimo Korodim and Rebo Kondon. And Father, by the mandate of every power and the power invested in the name that's above every name, I paralyze those powers. I command those powers to paralyze right now from the head to the toe. I command them to paralyze in the name of Jesus and I bind them from the head to toe. I bind them with chains of fire, fetters of fire. I bind them from the head to toe. I bind them from the head to toe. Rebo Shaka I bind them in the name of just Ramo Shikamara Kondo. I command them to be bound and I'll glue their feet to the ground. I glue their feet to the ground with divine mandate in the name of the Rebo Shakara Bakinda. And in the name that's above every name, the name of the the mandate of every power that they invest in, but I did not command and prophesy that you will arise in your mercy and compassion and you be gracious to you. Father, arise in your mercy and your compassion and be gracious to children and fight for them and fight for them and set them free. Let them be set free this morning. Let them be set free permanently from the power of the altar of their father. Sir. Let them be set free. Let us be set free. You are the one that killed and make it alive. Father, Lord, kill all the powers. Kill all the powers of the father. All the powers of the altar of your father's houses, all the altar power of the altar of your father's house, let them be destroyed and killed in this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Father, by the mandate of heaven upon all the power, invest in the and I command and prophesy that you will arise in your anger, your fury, and your wrath, and vengeance to judge and destroy the power, the power of the altar, the power and the evil prophet ministry at the altar of your. Of the, of the father's house of your children. Father, Lord, I ask that you will arise uh, in your anger, your, your fury, your wrath, and your vengeance. Uh, in the name of Jesus, and cut them off. Uh, cut them off out of existence. Let them cease to exist. Cut them off and let them be destroyed. Cut them off, judge and destroy them. Cut them off, judge and destroy them. Let their destruction last forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, by the mandate of every power, the power invested in me, I declare that command and prophesy. Let the spirit, let the, the, the sword of the Holy Spirit, let the sword of the Holy Spirit be released uh, to cut off the heads, to cut off the heads, the power of the altar, the father's house of the children. Let the, the sword of the Spirit, the sword of the Holy Spirit, is this to cut off the heads, to cut off the hands, to cut off their wings, and to cut off their legs, uh, and let them be slaughtered to pieces. Father, I demand that that they be cut to pieces. Let them be slaughtered to pieces. Let them be slaughtered to pieces. Let that evil prophet minister the altar of the father's house be slaughtered to pieces. Be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus and Father, by the mandate of every upon my life, the power of the I command and prophesy that the release of the rain of acid fire and the rain of rain of acid fire, rain of fire, brimstone upon their body, upon their slaughter body. Let the rain of acid fire, rain of fire, brimstone destroy all the slaughter body and roast into ashes in the mighty name of Jesus and Father, by the mandate of every upon my life, the power of the I declare I command, I, I, I declare I command the release of the fire of the Holy Ghost upon the that altar, that altar, that altar of the fire of, of the children's father's house, that altar, let the rain of the fire of the Holy Ghost be released upon that altar. They will release upon that altar, and I command that altar be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let that altar be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost, and let the destruction last forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Rambo Shaka let that altar be roasted to ashes and be roasted forever and be destroyed for eternity in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father God Almighty, I thank you for answer prayers in Jesus' name. I want you to make peace, Richmond. I ask you whether you are ready to make peace. And I want you to go on your knees, if possible, confess your sins and hand over your life to Jesus right now. And as that Jesus will be your Lord and Savior, Master, as that Jesus will be merciful and compassionate and gracious to forgive you all your sins sir, and cleanse you from all your righteousness. Go ahead and do that right now. And I said, Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Master, go ahead and do that as I decree my last decree in the name of your God, Father, as you will accept them. And you forgive the sins in the name of Jesus. By the mandate of heaven upon the powers of the I command and prophesy. All chains of the power of your side, all the chains on your neck, your chains on your hands, the chains on your weight and chains on your legs. I command those chains. Those chains tied to you. Those chains are signed to you by the power of the altar of your father's house. I command those chains to be broken to prison. I command that chain to fall off your neck, fall off your hands, fall off your waist, and fall off your legs. And let them be roasted to ashes. I command the wind of the fire of the Holy Ghost sir, to roast that chain to ashes, to roast that chain to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
and I command you be set free and I decree your deliverance and last forever in the name of Jesus and our Father has that which you have not let it last forever in Jesus name amen this way I will see you tomorrow I see you same time tomorrow 5 a.m. Nigeria time God bless you